marked a historic moment for the United States and its Justice Department. Former U.S. President Donald Trump entered a courtroom in Miami today to surrender to authorities, pleading not guilty to 37 federal criminal charges, accusing him of mishandling classified materials after he lost the 2020 election to Joe Biden. It's the second time in three months that Trump has faced a judge on criminal charges and makes him the first U.S. president, current or former, to be hit with a federal criminal indictment. USA! 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 Trump, we're out here. We're supporting you. Don't gear up. No retreat, no surrender. Supporters of former U.S. President Donald Trump surrounding a courthouse in downtown Miami while Trump made his first appearance on criminal charges. I don't believe the trial is real. I believe that Trump brought the judicial system down. He brought politics down. He brought the money system down. This is the last broken seal. It's all been revealed. Hundreds of journalists from around the world were also on hand at the federal courthouse, as were anti-Trump protesters. He should have been locked up a long time ago. Why wasn't he? Because he graduated from the School of Rats in New York, and he has a master's degree. Trump left the courthouse after pleading not guilty to federal criminal charges that he unlawfully kept national security documents when he left office and lied to officials who sought to recover them. The 37-count indictment includes violations of the Espionage Act, which could carry a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. It's election interference at the highest level. There's never been anything like what's happened. I'm an innocent man. Trump's plea, entered before U.S. Magistrate Judge Jonathan Goodman, sets up a legal battle likely to play out over coming months as he campaigns to win back the presidency in a November 2024 election. Experts say it could be a year or more before a trial takes place. We love Trump! We love Trump! We love Trump! Trump was allowed to leave court without conditions or travel restrictions, and no cash bond was required, but he is not allowed to communicate with potential witnesses in the case. Trump is the first current or former president to face criminal charges, and this is the second criminal case he is facing as he seeks to reclaim the White House. Today is not about President Donald J. Trump, who is defiant. It is not about the Republican Party. It is not about the 2024 election. It is about the destruction of the long-standing American principles that have set this country apart for so long. In April, he pleaded not guilty to charges in New York, stemming from a hush money payment to porn star Stormy Daniels. Trump has repeatedly proclaimed his innocence in both cases and accuses current U.S. President Joe Biden's administration of targeting him. I think it's a rigged deal here. We have a rigged country. We have a country that's corrupt. We have a country that's got no borders. We have a country that's got nothing but problems. We're a nation in decline. And then they do this stuff. And you see where the people are. We love the people. And you see where they are. You see the crowds and everything else. We have a country that is in decline like never before.